Okay, hello guys. So this is a MIDI Bluetooth MD um, BT01 from Yamaha, which is a, a wireless MIDI uh, adapter that helps actually transfer uh, over. So if you look over here, this one, the arrow that you see here, this is the out. So this one goes in the out, the output of your actual uh, MIDI keyboard. And then this one goes in the input of your MIDI keyboard. So the arrow is kind of like a going in away from the that I don't know if you see that right there so away from the that then it goes in um, the side of your um, keyboard so let's connect the whole thing to the keyboard and uh, let's see how everything works so this one as I said you take this one okay and then you're gonna apply it right here as you see in the out okay the output and then second thing on the input, you did both. Once you do that, you can see the light, the red light, red and green. It tells you that you're ready to connect, to pair your device to your computer. Oh, by the way, in here, in the keyboard, the actual keyboard, there is a Bluetooth inside. Okay, let me show you. If you go to menu and you go under um, Bluetooth right here, there you go. If you go under it, you will not be able right here, you will not be able to use this one. You don't have to. This one doesn't have to be on in order to be connected. So don't worry about this one. Uh, you have only to be sure to connect this one, which is at the media adapter that you want to see in your computer. So don't worry about this one. You won't have anything to do with that. Okay, now let's go to the computer and see how it works on the computer. Now over here, once you are in, you cannot pull from here. On your Mac, you cannot just pull Bluetooth and search for it. You won't find it. You won't find it. In this place here, you will find rather other Bluetooth. So what you want to do, you want to pull out your uh, spotlight search and type in audio MIDI setup. Okay. And once you do that, it pops up. And when it pops up, you click on audio MIDI setup. And uh, once you click on it, boom you have your audio MIDI setup. Now, inside here, you want to go on the top, look on the top on window, on the menu window, right here, show MIDI studio. You click on this one, you have this. Now, this one, which is the, the place where you want to activate, you see that little icon right here, this one? Yeah, that's the one you need to activate. You click on it, you can see right here, you see MDBT01. You want now to click connect on the action. So once you click connect on the action, then you are connected into that remote Bluetooth device. You're almost already set up and ready to go. Double click on this icon and you have different settings of the Bluetooth. If, if you go under the tab um, ports, there you go. You have MIDI in one, MIDI out one, you're good. So don't worry about anything else. You already connected. That's good to know. And we're gonna close this uh, window. We go back to Logic Pro, how you connect it. You want to go under your Logic preferences. If you have any doubt, it will be the same thing. You want to look for MIDI. So you go under MIDI and then you want to go under input. Okay, so you have MIDI and MIDI input right here. You have the MD BT01 Bluetooth connected. That's what you're looking for. Once this is connected, that's all you do. You close this one and your device is ready, your DAO is ready to connect. So I'm gonna close and create a new one. Okay, I'm gonna do choose. And right here under external MIDI, you can see here MIDI destination is right here. So you can select the first port or all, you can select all ports, but um, yeah, you can do that if you want, but for the purpose of uh, this video, I'm gonna select only the port one. Okay, you should be good to go with that one. So you do create, and now you have the MIDI keyboard connected directly. You can see I can touch the key on my keyboard and it responds directly over here. So if I pull in and I do, for example, let's say a G, okay? If I do G, you can see if I go in and I say, okay, let me do F, you can see right here that uh, it also works. So you're good to go and you don't have to have any other issue, you're good to go. That's how you set up. Now recording, you can see the MIDI data is coming in as I'm playing, as I'm playing is coming in and that's what you need to have. If I go back, okay, and I play back this, it will go directly, okay, right here, it goes directly into the keyboard and he's playing back into the keyboard. That's all you need to do. And I uh, hope this video helped. Uh, this is a device which is uh, actually helpful 
in order to connect your Yamaha. I have a Yamaha PSI X SX900, and uh, the device is called uh, uh, um, MDBT01. Okay, hope that this video helps somebody, and then you have a good day. Bye bye.